Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Things have changed a lot with our modern world, and one of those things is, is we can pretty much get whatever we want at a store on demand. And uh, that never was like that um, back in the day. You preserved and you put up stuff when it was in season, when it was abundant, when you could get it, and then you uh, you had it for uh, leaner times, basically. And that's something that I think that uh, preppers and uh, pretty much everybody needs to get back into that, putting up stuff in good times and when stuff is in abundance to um, have it when times aren't so good. And I'm going to show you guys a something I haven't showed you before, and that's how to can fish. Now, fish was something that was put up in seasoned, and all the old timers canned some type of fish. Um, sucker is the one that I can remember. Um, sucker was, uh, it would run in the spring, and then it would, uh, it would be processed, and it would be canned, and it would be put up. Um, another one from my in-laws, uh, salmon was something that was always canned when the salmon would run there would literally be two crews there'd be one crew fishing there'd be another crew um, canning but uh here in later summer what we are right now um i was able to get some uh white fish from my local co um, commercial fishermen and this white fish was actually frozen and uh, you can freeze fish if you have an abundance of it and then can it later to make it shelf stable and that's basically what i'm doing and uh how the old timers would can it, they would pressure can. Fish has to be pressure canned, and fish has to be pressure canned a little bit longer than normal. It, uh, normal, like if you were just were doing chicken or dry beans, something like that, fish has to be canned um, at 11 pounds of pressure, and uh, it has to be canned for around 11 pounds of pressure for a um, 100 minutes. But the old timers, they did a real specific thing with the jars. They would put in a tablespoon of ketchup and a teaspoon of vinegar into the jars. And the vinegar was very important because the vinegar, along with the pressure canning, would actually dissolve the small pin bones that's in the fish. Now this fish right here, um, you can scale the fish if you want, but I actually, um, took the skin right off of it. I think it looks nicer when the skin is off uh, the fish. And uh, the only bone that I cut out of this fish was um, the backbone, the spine I cut out. And then I cut all the pieces of fish about the size of these jars so they can just be packed in here. And uh, this fish, I actually brined. The old timers would brine the fish before they would can it. So it would take up some salt, would take up some liquid. And I put about a half a cup of um, kosher salt onto this fish and I uh, covered it with about a gallon, gallon and a half of cold water. I'm actually going to drain this and pack this now. This is was about uh, seven fish and I'm hoping I can get those seven fish into my seven wide mouth uh, pint cans and uh, my pint jars here are the wide mouth ones which makes it a lot easier to uh, pack these. So I'm going to get this drained here. I'm going to get the ketchup and the vinegar into my uh, jars so we can uh, start pressure canning these. All right, I've started uh, packing the jars. You can see here, got the jar packed right full. There's no additional water or anything put in. You can kind of see what it looks like on the side. You can see a little bit of the ketchup on the bottom. Um, this is what the uh, ketchup and the vinegar look like on the bottom of the uh, jar. And to pack it, all you do is you take your uh, pieces of fish And like I said, these fish were just um, sort of quartered up, head was cut off, skin was peeled off, and then they were cut in chunks the size of the jar. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, they would can these fish like this specifically so there wouldn't be any waste. So they didn't really uh, do a lot of filleting or anything on uh, the fish. They left the bones right in it and let the uh, vinegar and the uh, pressure canning do its job. And that's what it looks like when it's been uh, packed. Pack one more here for you. You can wear rubber gloves for this so you don't get the uh, the fish smell on your hands. 
of course these fish actually don't smell that bad because they were they were flash frozen and fresh in there and then just like that got a couple more uh, jars to uh, pack full here and then we're gonna get them in the canner all right I've got my uh, jars packed they didn't make seven like I thought they only made six we don't want to overfill them and uh, this is what it looks like they're nice and packed there's no liquid or anything that's added in other than the ketchup and the vinegar now I took a piece of paper towel that uh, I dipped in my uh, vinegar and I want to wipe the top of the jar just like this to make sure that there's nothing on um, the top of the jar and then we're gonna grab a lid I'm gonna put a lid on hand tight we're gonna set it in our uh, our pressure canner here now when I got the rest of these done I'm gonna show you how we uh, vent the uh, canner and then we're gonna bring it up to pressure all right my uh, canner has been venting for at least probably 15 minutes and what that means is, is it's up to temperature it's uh, creating steam and now we're going to uh, close the valve down so it starts to build up uh, pressure. And uh, we want uh, this to be just right. Fish is kind of particular. It's one of the uh, things that uh, when you can, you really want to be uh, spot on with your times and your pressures. All right, the timer just went off. I am going to uh, turn the heat off now, and I'm gonna let the pressure come down to zero and the uh, pressure canner uh, cool off and then we're going to take our jars out and see once what the finish uh, canned white fish looks like all right guys here's what the finished product looks like give you a little bit of an idea they all sealed it is a, uh, it's probably three hours after I took them out of the uh, canner. Now these can be used, anything that you'd use a, um, like a canned salmon for, um, you could put this uh, in like a fish chowder, you could put it in uh, um, like a fish salad, kind of like what a tuna salad would be with a little bit of uh, mayonnaise and some uh, dill relish. You can, uh, you could make fish patties out of this some uh, breadcrumbs and eggs, some fresh herbs, and you could fry these just like a salmon patty. They'll all work about the same way. And uh, like I said, the bones dissolve with the uh, vinegar and uh, the pressure cooking. But anyway, just wanted to share this uh, old school technique with you guys. Like I said earlier, the, uh, the old timers, they would do this in the spring with a sucker, with just a uh, tablespoon of ketchup in the bottom and a uh, teaspoon of white vinegar. Just trying to bring some of these old techniques uh, back to life in case uh, you guys would ever need them. Anyway, it's Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys get a little information, a little entertainment out of my videos as always. And you guys have a good one.